Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a 14 minute break until my next call starts. And I thought, you know what? It's been ages I haven't, I, I did not film something where I sit down and talk to you guys. And I have a lot of empties. And um, these are videos that I really like to make because it shows things that I have used. And in a time when everybody's just getting more and more things and ev for when everything new, I like to see what are my staples. Also, uh, 2020 is the year where I really stuck with my no buy. I know that in some of my previous vlogs, I did show me getting a few things, but I think when I fill my empties, you get to see the balance. Because if I buy two or three things, when I finish 30 things, you can definitely see that the, the overall tendency is down. So yes, as I mentioned, I almost finished, I think almost 30 products, I, I just eyeing it like that. But uh, it is not over yet. I'm pretty sure that in June, I can already think of at least 10 products that I will finish just because I have been very consistent in the way I do things. So I'll walk you through these and I'll start with skincare. Maybe in the order in which you apply stuff. So first thing is this Aesop in Two Minds Facial Cleanser. It's one that I really, really loved. Um, I initially had it as a sample, loved it so much that I bought this. Uh, I, I use it as my morning cleanse and I like it so much that actually when I finished it I went ahead and I bought the bottle that is twice the size so this is 100 ml and I bought the 200 ml and it now sits in my bathroom love the packaging but although I would say maybe 25% of the reason I buy ESO products is the packaging I actually also really like the product um, I try usually to buy them whenever they go on sale. I think I will save the bottle because I like the, the size of it. So I'll, I'm most likely to decant some of my, my bigger bottle into this one and keep this one on my counter because right now I'm keeping my entire uh, skincare routine on my counter in, a, in an aesthetically pleasing way. So that's the first skincare bit. Then I have the Zelens PHA Biopeel. These are resurfacing facial pads by Dr. Marco Lenz. It's a, it's a very, very uh, gentle kind of acid to use. This doctor um, is um, initially specialized in skin cancer. So he's very, very careful about everything he does in his products. And I definitely trust the research that he puts in it. Um, I'm not a very big fan of pads because I think that they're typically more expensive uh, when you count like how much product you get. But it is something that I get as a gift with purchase when I spent a lot of money with Look Fantastic. I enjoyed using it and I would use it just once a day as a morning acid and, and it didn't aggravate my skin or anything like that. Right now because I have transitioned to using a very 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 light retinol at night uh, and I have finished this. I initially thought I would start using my the Ordinary Glycolics 7% solution, but I used it once and it was really, um, I think, harsh on my skin. I'm not sure whether because I had picked at my skin, I have noticed that with this time of stress, I had been like touching my face a bit more. And uh, so I'm not sure whether it's because I had little bits of broken skin or because the glycolic is too strong, but I only used it once. I will try it again this week and if it still tingles that much I will not be using any acids because although I'm at a very very low dosage of retinol I don't want to risk it so I, I, I'm glad I had this because it really helps even out the skin you know that acid bit always helps with um, rejuvenating your skin but that's also the point of retinol so that is something I did not purchase to begin with so I did not repurchase. Um, then I have this Aesop Immediate Moisture Facial Hydrosol. I had this as part of a travel kit that I had bought. I really love anything travel uh, and miniature. It has rose petal, bergamot peel and chamomile bud. Now, I mean, it's the bergamot. The bergamot bit is what gets me every time. Um, that's why I like Earl Grey. That's why I like a lot of uh, citrusy scents. Anything that has that citrusy uh, tinge to it is something that I really go, I'm going to like, whether it's verbena, lemon, lemongrass, uh, or bergamot. I really enjoyed it. It was pretty decadent. I would not pay ESO prices for something like this. Um, and it is definitely one of those products that would have felt very indulgent if I were traveling and things like that and, you know, just praying that. 
obviously not on a plane because some people have um, fragrance sensitivities even if it's just essential oils people are sensitive to some of these but um really enjoyed using it i just think it's a bit too pricey for what it is so um right now i'm just using one of those ampoules slash essence that you get from Korean products and I put it in a spray bottle and that's what I use but I have noticed that I haven't been as diligent so I really need to remind myself to go back to that and then I have my nighttime cleanser this is the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm again this is another love story that came from the sample sizes um I, I think I'm one of the the people who actually buy a full size if they like a sample um, and uh, it's proof that some of these marketing bits actually work so I had a small sample of this uh, I think from two, two beauty boxes a long time ago and I think I had two or three of these over the past two years and every time I would use it I would love it and I would tell myself you know Uga you need to buy a full size of that and then one day I just bit the bullet. I absolutely love it. It is quite decadent. There is obviously no point in me showing you the inside because obviously I wipe this stuff clean. It lasted me a long, long, long time. One thing I have learned initially out of, out of necessity because this stuff was so expensive that I did not want to waste it, but then it actually became a habit. What I have learned is that I only need a tiny, tiny bit of a, of a cleansing balm to actually do my whole face. And this is a product that I use with a spatula. I have lots of uh, spatula from different products that I had. And uh, that means that I think it was a year or something like that. I don't know. It says that once you open it, you can use it for six months. I am pretty sure it was way, way, way more than six months. Uh, it has a very nice smell to it that even I, as somebody who doesn't like fragrance in, in, in cosmetics, actually enjoyed it. But I have replaced it with the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Balm. And that balm has a more herbal scent and it also has a slightly more bouncy texture to it. This sometimes when it when it's really really cold right now we're in end May so it is sunny but when it's really cold it can it can sometimes crystallize and I have a thing with textures because I'm a very tactile person sometimes I don't enjoy that but it melts quite quickly the marine balm from Elemis is just gorgeous I use it now every day as my second cleanse instead of this one so I don't think I will be repurchasing the Emma Hardy one. I would be very happy to get it as a sample if I buy something, but I prefer the, the, the collagen balm and I also, I bought the big tub times two, so I'm not finishing that anytime soon. And then I was going through, um, so I started uh, being on lockdown on the 16th of March. That's when I st decided to stay home. Uh, and obviously the UK went in uh, a week later. But one of the things that I first did uh, as I started lockdown was come to the conclusion that, okay, I'm not traveling anywhere. And as much as I like having my little travel minis and things like that, I'm not going to realistically uh, use them, right? So what I did was really reassess my entire travel uh, uh, bag and all the samples that I was hoarding. Hoarding is the word. And I started using them one by one. So in the previous vlog when I had showed you a lot of the empties, I had quite a few travel sizes. Now I have a lot less of these, but fine. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Re Repair is one of their cult products. Everybody knows of this. If you are new to beauty, you would have heard of it. If you are a veteran, you know, you know, every beauty editor has this. Um, I used it up and actually it was quite surprising how long this lasted because when I had it I thought I'm not even going to enjoy it because I'm not even sure how long that lasts. I used it for at least a month, that tiny bottle. So in terms of longevity, I feel that a little bit goes a long way. I feel that it makes my skin feel really good. But at the same time, I don't feel that I'm in the age group or at the skin condition where I feel that I need to justify the price for something repairing overnight. So because there wasn't much to repair to begin with, uh, while this was a gorgeous product, I don't think I would be buying the full size, at least not in the next decade. I'm too young for that. Then I had this Dr. Lancer Omega Hydrating 
oil with ferment complex why did they write it in white like how can i even read this so it was a yellowish oil at the bottom it's absolutely uh, uh, um, beautiful on the skin it's not greasy in a way that is very thick you know when you have different when you have oils you have a range of viscosities so you have those oils like squalane that almost feel like water you just glide but it doesn't really make your face sticky and then you have these thicker oils like castor and things like that that when you put it you immediately feel your pores being clogged this was closer i would say to the to the squalene type of oils so very runny very lightweight uh, i don't remember whether it had a scent or not no no scent actually and um and i used it as a as a moisturizer actually i did not when when i was uh, finishing all my moisturizing samples before deciding to buy a full size that was what i used in lieu of a moisturizer dr lancer again is another dermatologist so you can trust the research that goes into it not too much marketing so a lot of the of the funds obviously go into developing the products i thought it was really a great product again i'm not in the in the age group or skin needs to need something like this especially that this is not um the the, the most uh, affordable product and right now i'm um, instead of using a moisturizer at night i'm actually using my retinol 0.2 percent uh, uh in, in in oil um from the ordinary which is a probably a fraction of the price i'm going to keep this bottle because i absolutely loved it i loved uh, the, the delivery mechanism i loved how the pipette goes all the way to the bottom and what i'm going to fill this with don't laugh is the aesop post poo drops so in my bathroom i have uh, the post poo drops which has a uh, citrusy scents whenever you have vigorous activity in the bathroom you just put a few drops after you flush and it really it works like magic i like it Technically, I could probably make whip something up with mixing my own essential oils. I don't feel like it. Somebody found the right balance, so I will just buy it whenever it is uh, at a at a slight discount. And I think it's something that is that is quite decadent to have my own little poo drops um, in a travel bottle if I go somewhere. Uh, somewhere being at somebody's place. Um, something that I uh, I think I, I blame my mom I blame my mom she's always uh, she always made me uh, like she instilled in me that thought that you don't stink up somebody's place you don't leave uh, you don't dispose of, of uh, 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 feminine hygiene items in somebody's place you there are a lot of things that she just drilled in me that up to now over 30 years later are still in my head so this is what i'm going i'm going to save this bottle for that so the bottles that i'm saving i actually put in there uh, and then i think the last oh uh, yeah and then let's see the one before last bit of skincare is this glam glow thirsty mud i got this as a sample it is meant to be very very moisturizing it's a hydrating mask i used all of it again this is another mask where i felt that uh, only a little bit went a long way but it was a bit um it left a greasy residue and as much as I liked having something moisturizing I did not enjoy it because of that and I think it's just a PTSD from my very very severe acne days where I just don't like the feeling of having something greasy on top of my skin so that is uh, the skincare I'm going to show you three lip balms and then I'm going to pause this because I have to go to my next meeting and then in my next break I'll film the, the rest but I finished two of my Caudalie uh, Soin de Lèvres. This is the, the conditioning lip balm. So I went all the way down. I go usually down all the way to the point where I have to dig a little bit. And then when it becomes too painful to dig, then I, I, I know that it's over. I buy these in a pack of three. A pack of three from Look Fantastic uh, comes every now and then as a promotional thing. It's like uh, two plus a free one and it's usually 10 pounds and I only buy it when it's on sale. <laughs> so like I accumulate all the sales um, and then I always get it in a, in, a, in, a, in a three pack. So obviously I finished these two and I bought a three pack. You saw it in, my, in one of my vlogs and I replaced these two with this. And the third one is this Nux Red de Miel. Nux is also a French brand that I, I used to use a lot when I was in Morocco. And uh, uh, this Red de Miel is a really an iconic line. It's a very thick uh, lip balm that is quite matte. It's 
very interesting, very unique texture to it. And uh, uh, this is a special edition that I had bought when I was in, in, in Belgium. And I hadn't opened it, it was completely sealed. And then when I, when I finished a lot of lip balms, I started using it. So yes, I finished these three. The reason why I finished these three is not, is not, is not because I used them all in May. It's because I usually have one by my desk, one in my bag, and one by my bedside. Once I started working home for the past two months, I had one there, one by my bedside, and one by my um, makeup station, because I still wear makeup to work. Um, so yeah, these are the ones, and uh, I have replaced all three of them with the three pack. So I will pause the video now, go to my call, and come back for the rest of the categories. Hey guys, I'm back quickly. So I will do the other part of the of the empties. So maybe perhaps we do we do we do polish. We do nail nail care. So uh, I have finished a nail polish remover. This is just the Boots brand. It's the strengthening one. I've had it for a long time, but these things have a very long shelf life. So once you open it, you can use it for 18 months. So it doesn't really expire. Um, the reason I finished it, I guess, is because when I have been staying at home. I have been painting my nails a bit more. Uh, I think I have had a lot of uh, less, less. Uh, I've been less rough on my on on my nails. I think typically when I travel because I have to to rush and put my suitcase up and down and I do a lot of stuff like that. I always end up breaking nails. But now I have just felt that my nails have been doing better than ever. So I finished this and. Um, I repurchased uh, another Boots nail polish remover, but I purchased one that is actually white and that is very soft, so it's meant to be very uh, nourishing, it's meant to be a hydrating one. I don't see the point in having a hydrating nail polish remover because anyway, I always wash my hands afterward, afterwards, but I thought it would be uh, inoffensive. Then I finished this Kiko, this Kiko BB base coat and um, it looks like this. I bought it when I was in Belgium because I used to live about 15 minutes away from Akiko, if not less. And uh, I used it. It's very, very well loved. And um, I added these thinner drops to it a few times. And then at some point, even with the thinner drops, it just was gloopy and and I couldn't get it. And even when I get it, it would just immediately start solidifying and give me ridges. So while I have one milliliter, one millimeter left, I there was no way I was going to get to it. So I have replaced this with the OPI nail base. Let me get that. I replaced it with this OPI nail base. It took me it took me a long time trying to to get a replacement because the thing is that I was trying to find a nail base without going to stores because the stores were obviously closed. But even when I went to Boots a couple of times to pick up a prescription, I have a prescription that I need to pick every month. I didn't find it. So it was only in my last visit when I picked up my prescription that I saw that the Boots that I went to had this thing. It's not ideal because it is start to finish. It's meant to be both a base coat, a top coat and whatever. But that's only all what I could find. And now, technically, after finishing this, OPI is my most represented brand in my uh, nail polish collection. My nail polish collection has definitely uh, uh, reduced, at least the stuff that I have here with me in London. And so I have uh, four OPI nail polishes with this and plus this base coat. And then the next represented brand is um, Annie. So it's a German brand. They're all nail polishes. And then you have SE followed by Kiko. So that's a bit the, the pecking order. Then I, before I, 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 I bought the base coat, I was also considering using this thing, which is just something from a random brand that I had for years and years and years. I didn't like it, so I ended up not using it, to be honest. And uh, I, w I didn't feel like finishing it because I said, if you, you apply nail polish and you end up messing up your entire manicure just because of this, why bother? So that's something that is also going. And I finished two nail polishes. The first one is from Essie. It's this pink color. It's from the Treat Love and Color line. It's a strengthening kind of uh, nail polish. And normally when you apply this, you just apply it. You put two coats. You don't need a base coat. You don't need a top coat. It's very, very low maintenance. And I think that is why I went through it fast because I just felt that it was less 
staff and I didn't have to, you know, plan sitting down to have a manicure. Uh, what is the color of this? Um, this is called Crunch Time and it's number 65. Uh, I finished it very happy about it I have um, when I when if you look at my nail polishes in my um, in my bathroom I have one container that is for colors and one container that is for base products and nudes so I always have a nude color anyway which is why I'm not going to repurchase this because I have um, things that are not exactly the same color but are in the same spirit of having your nails looking polished uh, this is a Flormar Super Matte. This is one of my favorite, favorite uh, nail polishes to have ever existed. The color is M110 and uh, the Flormar nail polishes last for a long time. One of the good things about them is that they have an expiry date. Actually, they last for five years. Um, so this one, it was time for it to go. It was time for it to go. And uh, I have actually almost nearly finished it. I was not able to get to the bottom, although I added a lot of thinner. I really loved the brush of it. I love how long this handle is, and it's just a joy to use. Very, very easy. It was always a great color. So I have a little bit of it left, but I was not able to get um, proper coats from it. And so the last time I used it was on my toes, and then it was gone. I have replaced these two nude colors with Butter London. So as in, I did not buy it. It's just essentially what I'm using instead of these. Uh, this was in my collection. Again, a very long shelf life. This is something that can last for three years or something like that. So um, this color is called Trallop. And uh, this is one of those uh, uh, more friendly kind of uh, nail polishes that doesn't have a lot of toxins or so they claim. It looks like this. What I don't like about the bottle is just that it doesn't fit in my in my little uh, nail polish organizer. So this, this is a bottle that always stays on the side. And it is what I'm wearing right now on my nails. As you see, it just looks like your nails are, are done. But it's not really in your face or anything like that. So very easy. I'm not the biggest fan of the of the brush on this one because I feel that it's it's a little bit too skinny. I like brushes that are thick like the OPI ones or the new SE ones. But um, uh, this is my next uh, nail polish that I continue using. And once I finish it, I have two or three more uh, nude nail polishes. Um, that means that probably every week I'd be wearing this, but every now and then I might change. I like changing up my nail colors. Then we have makeup, body, and miscellaneous, and we're done, if you're still sticking with me. I have this Essence Mascara All Eyes On Me Waterproof Multi-Effect Mascara. I think Essence Mascaras are really good for the price that you pay. It's the best quality you can get at that price point. So I always had these. I used to buy them when I had a project in the north of England two years ago, less a year and a half ago. But um, obviously that project is over, so I have been running out of all my Essence Mascaras. I think this one might have been the last one, I'm not sure. I need to check. But um, this is also the Super Curl Volume Mascara. It's also by Essence. I think it was two or three pounds. I've gone through five of these probably. I would have repurchased it in a heartbeat. But one of the things that I have is that um, I sometimes I get these free little mascaras so i did not feel the need to buy it but if i were to repurchase one it would be this one i think it takes months and months and months to dry out and although the recommendation is for mascaras to to be discarded after three months this one says you can keep it for six months later and uh, it dries pretty fast uh, so you have to be careful with that but i tend to keep them for many many months at a time Currently, I'm using a travel size of the a mini of the Benefits Their Real Mascara. It's also really good. I really like it. It separates my lashes. Um, but I think the full size is £23 or something like that. Um, I wouldn't pay £20 for a mascara. So I use it while I have it, but I would not pay for the full size. Then I have this NYX Vivid Bright. Uh, in vivid sapphire so this is something that I bought when I was in Belgium and I never managed to wear it and I remember recently I wanted to put it on one day I said you know I want this vivid color in my in my eyes and when I opened it it was completely dried out it's not bad because it was inexpensive and also I understand I've had it for so many for so long but it's just a shame 
so I have to toss it and I have also two Avon mascaras so what I did recently is that I went to my storage unit and brought back uh, one bag worth of, of stuff that I had and because right now I'm really consolidating everything that I have I was also doing a quick check on all of my makeup that I, I uh, that I, that I had in storage and that I have in here because really I'm starting to go down in my makeup stash which is always a nice thing. But these two um, um, lipsticks from Avon smell a bit funny. This one, I used it a bit, quite a bit, but it smells, it smells funny so I don't wanna use it anymore. This one I did not use it because it was a very light color and um, I'm just tossing it because I've had them for years and I wouldn't feel comfortable putting something that smells weird in my lips so that's that these were a gift and i finally finished my laura mercier translucent setting powder and which is quite an achievement like i removed the sifter and everything and went through all of it uh, that took forever to finish it was a really good uh, uh, powder it's one of those cult products that every everybody who who started makeup on youtube eventually had it everybody had it i mean it's just uh, or had it on their wish list um, once I finished it, I went to use a small tub of my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter powder in cashew. I received it as a gift when I when I went there to to I bought a few things, and they had something where if you bought two items or whatever, they would give you a free one. But normally my color should have been honey because it's very very yellow. But they gave me cashew because that's the only one that was left in that size, and it was a uh, it's a lot more pink. It doesn't have much content in it so I, I'm, I'm just using it to set under my eyes but I really like how small the container is and on brand it is with Fenty so once I finish it I'm just going to refill it with my current um, bigger powder which is honey also by Fenty Beauty so I will not be repurchasing this I know that they, this is the translucent and that they brought up one for deeper skin tones but it is just too deep for my for my skin so I wouldn't be uh, buying that one either then in terms of body care i finished i finished two oils these are by the same brand called kenzie spell beauty one is argan oil just argan oil and the other one is argan oil with rosemary both are usda organic and i would use them after a bath you know all over my body my skin is very very uh, dry so i always need to moisturize it and i'm very lazy about it but I've had these for a while. I remember I was uh, I was living in Belgium and I visited Morocco for uh, a brief visit, and I met up with the founder Kinza, and uh, she was telling me about how she was launching her brand, etc. And she gave me a couple of these, so uh, I I kind of uh, I've used them all in at the same time. Similarly to the soap, also from the same brand. This is also Kenzie, uh, and this one is the mint one. Um, very moisturizing it took me a bit to get used to using soaps again instead of just a, you know a body wash but obviously when you have a soap you use a lot less packaging a lot less of many 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 things so it's a lot more compact and I have finished this one and I have a second one right now that I'm finishing and it's because I noticed that I was getting excited about the the prospect of buying body washes and things like that and then i had to remind myself that i had lots of soaps that i needed to go through and that's why i started doing that so that was moisturizing obviously i don't have access to the brand now but also i have a big backup of of stuff so i'm not going to use it anytime soon to repurchase anytime soon i have these vix wax strips um it's still rattly inside because they come with some towelettes that i never ever use and um, I use this maybe once every few weeks. I just take one band and use it. So I don't really repurchase it that often. But I remember when I wanted to repurchase it, I went through a phase where I was going online and I couldn't find it. And then in the same trip, actually, where I got this one, I think that it was maybe the week where they had restocked everything. I managed to find this, so I did buy a new, a new box and I will continue repurchasing it. But typically I need like, maybe one every year or something so it's not really a very frequent purchase uh, i finished the sure maximum protection sensitive dry deodorant i'm still very unhappy with all the deodorants that i have i still cannot find one that i like i keep alternating with, in between deodorants but i'm not excited about anyone this one definitely works in terms of not sweating but i'm not sweaty to begin with so and sometimes although it says sensitive dry 
Sometimes I feel that it, it, it just irritates my, my skin. I have very sensitive uh, skin under my armpits. And um, yeah, it really irritates my underarms after a few uses. And that's the thing, I cannot use it many days in a row. This Kerastase Oa Botanica is a hair product and it's meant to be a sort of a, like a curl cream that is silicone free. I did not buy this. My sister bought it, hated it. And then she brought it to my place uh, quite some time ago and she said you know I hated this maybe you like it I hated it and I forced myself to use it and every time I would put it in my hair it felt almost like I put alcohol in my hair that's how crunchy and dry it would be uh, so I have maybe just this bit left but I hate it I just can't get myself to I'm not going to use that one bit because it will kill my hair oh I don't know why I always have these dogs at this point I think it's hilarious how many start and stops I had in this video but I just have lots of these tiny 20-30 minute calls so I keep coming back and forth and back and forth because I just want to recycle the stuff but I was saying I have this Bioderma um, uh, sunscreen I bought it when I was in Belgium because we were going on the summer event and I just wanted something that would uh, cover the whole body and uh, I used it I didn't like it mm. So I don't like these sprays anymore. Then I have this Wake in my wash experiment. Uh, it's the one that I currently use, but I just refill it in my Aesop uh, bottle. So the bottle is glass. This thing is fully aluminum, so it's going to the recycling. I like it. It's quite expensive at eight pounds, but um, it's fine. Um, it's 500 ml. I enjoy using that, and it ha doesn't have alcohol, which I think, for some reason, in my head feels better. And then I have this little candle by Parks. It's cedar, vetiver, sandalwood, orange, and cloth. Um, I'm just running uh, through all my different candles. And one funny thing I have noticed is, um, as I was as I was looking through which candle I wanted to burn next, because I have a few candles that I have in rotation, I started noticing a little more how a lot of people on the Instagram flat lays will have the deep tea candles and things like that, and they're never burned. So in my head, I started registering how a lot of people, when they do the flat lay, they have the diptyque candle that is not used. They have the Aesop hand cream that is not used, the Chanel hand cream, the white one. And it, it became almost like a funny game for me to see who are the people who keep reusing the same props. And they actually got them for the flat lays, but they never, ever use them. Uh, it's quite interesting. Um, but I use my stuff. There is no way I'm going to to not use it. Then I have this gold spice by Byron Bay. Uh, this is um, uh, it has a it's like a turmeric latte, and I have this every night. Um, I used to have it with whole milk. Right now I have it with oat milk just because it's easier on my stomach. I know the founder. His name is Tom. I went for a run with him actually. Uh, many many months ago and he told me about his company so I ended up buying quite a few of these this was the last one before last pack so I finished it and then I put everything in a little box and um, it is it is my favorite thing like I have it at least four nights a week that's something that I've been having for the past many many or so months and then the one before last item is this gum called oh my gum plant-based chewing gum in cinnamon and it's something that I got from Dales Ford and it was nothing and I was like, okay, fine. You know, one of those things you just pick and it's just amazing. It, it stays soft all the time. And I remember once my, my, my sister uh, uh, borrowed one, like she, she wanted the gum and I gave her one. And she liked it so much she ended up taking the whole box. And this is something that I have lots of backups of. So I have quite a few of these, but I thought this would be a good time to show you it because I really like that brand. And this is also another token thing where I have finished this little um, pen. And what I did right now is I actually have put all of my pens in a pot by my desk. And I have noticed that I have been finishing quite a few of them, although I am using my, uh, my little, um, what is it called, my fountain pen. I still have gone through these. And I think I went through two or three, but I just wanted to keep one to show you guys. But I think we have finally made it. This is what I have finished for the month of May. Very happy with that. Very happy with the, the, the amount of things I have finished without altering anything in my consumption. So I think in the month of June, we're, I, I can already think of quite a few things that will finish, especially in my skincare, because I use the same things every single day. 
but uh, it is a uh, quite an exciting journey so I hope you enjoyed this video as choppy as it was but I just wanted to show you how things have been going on with me and um, hopefully you saw something you liked or yeah I need to go to my next meeting this this life next meeting I'll see you soon on my channel take care